I'm Eric, I'm a game designer, and today I want to review the game design of Papers, Please. The morality of the game, how the game puts pressure on you, and how it surprises you with its impactful events. Papers, Please is a 2D indie game. You're working at a border control station. You check passports and other various documents that are required to trespass through the country. Every day there are new rules and new guidelines you need to follow. It is up to you to either accept or reject a certain individual. Identify if the information they provided was accurate. If you do so successfully, you'll be able to take care of your family with the money you've earned. But make a mistake or let someone in who shouldn't have gotten in, you'll get a fine and that will hurt your family instead. Where papers please shines is within its morality. Whether something is right or wrong, the fine lines you're acting on, Whose side are you on? Are you there for your own selfish reasons to support your family? And as a player do as well as possible within the game's context? Or do you break your own rules from time to time? Set different goals? Perhaps you meet someone so convincing and so desperate that you have the desire to let them through, although they do not have all the required documents. Papers Please plays with your feelings it tries to hit the right buttons to evoke emotions. A moral clash within yourself between your family and the family of others. The whole game is built around the goal of supporting your family. And everything in the game always carries a sense of pressure attached to that goal. The more people you are able to check on a day, the more money you can potentially make. And the better you can take care of your family. Because your goal is so obvious and it's something you continuously work towards, these emotional moments of someone desperately trying to convince you to let them through hit even harder. Not only because you can relate to them, because you're taking care of your family yourself within the game's context, but mainly because of personal reasons of the actual player. It becomes a battle between what the game wants me to do and what I want to do as a player. Additionally, the game limits how long you can think about this decision because efficiency is rewarded. What's so interesting is how Papers, Please amplifies this experience. Through one design decision, the game has become more immersive and realistic and intentionally slows down the pace of what you're doing so that you feel more hastened and stressed within the situation. And that is the fact that all your actions have to be performed manually. You have to take their papers and put it on your desk to investigate it. Really look at all the details of the person, any potential mismatching information, any discrepancies. You also need to follow the rules and guidelines and might need to switch a couple of pages within the book to find the information you need. And most importantly, the moment you want to stamp, you need to manually take out the stamp and accept or reject. These actions all take time, time which is going to cost you money, hence you are motivated to perform your tasks faster, but the faster you go, the more likely you are to make mistakes and miss important information. This adds to the sense of pressure, but also immersion. It is almost a perfect abstraction of how you would actually be performing your tasks in real life. The same mundane actions can't be automated and performing them yourself manually adds intention to the action, but also amplifies the drama of your decision. And drama is what comes from the decisions you make, the moral conflicts you face. You will feel bad regardless of your decision. Rejecting someone makes you sad, but letting someone pass through knowing that will hurt your family will also make you sad. Papers Please focuses on the drama which derives from this. It intensifies the drama and surprises you through reality checks by showing you the consequences of your work and the social situation within the country. Having someone run across the border trying to find a way out of there is generally impactful. But Papers, Please makes it sting so much more by making you focus on something else entirely. A very small task in this very big world. You rarely look at the top part of the screen to see how the people are doing. No, instead you're focused on the papers, focused on performing your tasks. And then the moment something happens on the top part of the screen, you're genuinely surprised. 
You weren't expecting nor prepared to face something like this. You were simply doing your job. Papers Please shows us how cruel the world can be, how dilemmas demand impossible decisions, and how you will have to decide when you will listen to your heart or your head. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Game Designer Place. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I really hope to see you back in my next video. See you there. Bye bye.